Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney and Stuart Webb reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today is August 4th, 2016, and we're fighting the international banking cartel, one world government, scientific dictatorship, satanic conspiracy. I know it's a lot to, that's a mouthful, but that's what we're up against. Free humanity against the global enslavers, Satan, the master of this world, the the ruler of all lies. I mean, uh, we can go on and on about it, Stuart, but uh, we got a lot to cover in this show tonight. We got to cover the Satanic Temple rolling out after school clubs. We got the whole Obama administration paying Iran $400 million as a ransom for American hostages. We got the mainstream media and established Republicans going buck wild over Donald Trump. Uh, telling untold, I mean, unheard of lies. We've never seen lying and uh, a barrage of negative publicity at this level before. We've got the New World Order, UN agenda to talk about. We've got our economy, U.S. economy, and we've got Venezuela economy and maybe some tech and science news. The federal government is approving chimeras. So what do you want to hit on first here, Stuart? I'd like to talk, now that you mentioned it, the Trump sabotage. I was reading in my spare time uh, an article off Drudge, uh, who does a great job. Regardless of you, if you think Drudge has an agenda and Alex Jones, all these guys, you can say that they're operatives or whatever. It doesn't matter because what they post about is really happening. It's it's the truth. It is reality. It, it, it is now the mainstream. Um, of course, uh, most of it is not disinformation or half truths like the mainstream, right? They're they're putting it out there for you to see. So with there's a Trump disinfo campaign going on, and not only that, just a straight up smear campaign on Donald Trump. And I'm not even a Trump fan, really. I mean, um, I, I, I yeah, Sam is. I I mean, I, I definitely choose him over Hillary. Americanism, uh, not globalism, will be our credo, and that does scare the globalists. So. I, tur- I I open up Yahoo. Actually, it wasn't even on Drudge. It was on Yahoo. Open up Yahoo, right? The front story on Yahoo is what were to happen if uh, what will happen if Trump drops out? Okay, that is the headline, right? This is very very misleading. Uh, so you headline. can Google search you would- it. Every mainstream media. What if what if candidate says say Donald Trump drops out? Could Donald it Trump is, drop out? Will Donald Trump out? Should will Don, he drop out? Should, Don, will he drop should out? the Republicans force Donald Trump to drop out? What will they do? They are trying to normalize the thought of him dropping out. Why would he never would? And even he legitimately in his articles, won the nomination, and 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 going against all odds too. Uh, pe- the people said you're not going to steal this one, and the GOP knew that they couldn't because th- their party would be over. So. I read this article, and within the first paragraph, they say, well, we're not saying that he has any intention of dropping out. Well, then why is the headline, hmm. will Will Donald Trump drop out? That's like saying, will Hillary Clinton drop out of the race? Uh, well, sh- when has that ever, I mean, that's like, you know, it just doesn't make any sense, and it's totally misleading, and it's just a lie. It's a straight-up lie. Uh, that's what I would amount it to being on the front page of a major news outlet. Every one of them, Stuart, that. not just one, every single Everyone. one of them. Because remember, six corporations control 90% of the mainstream media, and it's consolidated even more since that report came out. It is a concerted effort by the establishment, and there's a bunch of establishment, the establishment media and the establishment hack Republicans who no one likes, Paul Ryan... Uh, Lindsey Graham, Jill, Rhino, McCain, Jill, Rhino, all complete globalist hack pieces of trash, traitors to this country, have all come out against Donald Trump. And in my mind, that's only further endorsement for Donald Trump that these yep. clowns are not going to endorse him and saying, "Oh, he's a terrible candidate, and we need to tone back what he's saying." Is he unfit for office? Because he's hurting people's feelings by telling the truth. Yeah, whether you like how he says it or not, and he is being pretty brazen with his uh, with what he's saying and how he says it. But he's just a he's a wild man, whatever. But they're gonna spin, yeah, they're gonna spin whatever it, he every, says. Yeah. 
whatever he says, they're going to spin it to the, and, and say that he's racist and whatnot, even though they don't say the full th- the full quote and context and whatnot. And this whole or, con thing that came out, the the Gold Star family, right, of the fallen veteran. Yeah, this guy a, uh, is this guy is Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah, he, he supports Sharia law. I yeah. mean, it's complete and utter insanity. Support, that, he supports burkinis, yeah. burka bikinis. <laughs> Women going into the swimming pool, but you can't. You have to have your full body clothed and and enjoy that. Liberal women, the the liberals, enjoy that. So remember, your sexuality is only yours. Your body is only yours when your Democrat party or the left party uh, and the Sharia law says it is. O- so, only so. if it's for political gain in certain uh, instances. Not all the time. Your rights aren't guaranteed. Sorry, uh, you can hate the Republicans and conservatives all you want. Uh, but but believe me, the the le- the Democratic Party gets to tell you when you can wear a bikini, that's, and then you're. And, but but you know what? You can have an abortion, so I guess that's okay. That's um, part of the mental I illness. Guess that's right. Mental illness of Democrats, left wingers, that they will go ahead and support Muslims who support Sharia law and which killing is, gays, which is the most oppressive thing against women and gays. Killing gays, killing prostitutes, killing non-believers, etc. But Tr- but back treating to the, women back, like second-class yeah. citizens. Yeah, Trump, absolutely, Trump was right. He didn't say it politically correct, like a politician, yeah. but yeah. he was right. His wife, Khan's wife, up on that stage, and Khan, right? He's a con man playing yeah. a game on the American people. He was right. Trump was right. His wife couldn't speak up there on that stage. Now, what is awesome about? what trump is doing though he's forcing obama to actually comment on the election which he shouldn't be commenting trump on held a, i mean obama <laughs> held a whole press conference trump's yeah. unfit are you yeah kidding unfit me? to be president yeah and his and community organizer communist uh uh, uh uh frank marshall davis's son barack obama barry sotero uh saul alinsky ite follower communist he's a community organizer he's a con that's all he knows how to do is he's a traitor is, to this country to organize people together to take w- from the middle class okay the ends justify the means it's say it's a satanist mentality okay that steal from others uh because oh the ends justify the means in fact you can riot and burn down buildings and destroy people's property uh because the end justify the justifies the means so so our current president and we know he's involved in the occult you don't get to the presidency without being involved in the occult so the smear campaign against donald trump uh, is it 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 shows that the media doesn't even know what to do because they know like half the country is is going to vote for this guy the new york okay? post and they're scared the new york post published naked pictures of his wife when she was a supermodel and we're yeah. supposed to be offended by that oh exactly and so but but the left should be proud that she's sh- because the the feminists the liberal feminist women all say well i get to use my body i can do porn i can have sex with whoever i want i can cheat on my husband because i'm a feminist and i own my body and i'm that's my right as a woman i'm liberating myself well you should love melania trump then posing uh, nude i nope, mean there's a double standard yeah exactly so only when it's politically um uh it, advantageous i guess for them that then they uh use that against donald trump's right wife but it is it's very enjoyable to see our own president freaking out and saying uh oh you know I, i'm i'm scared to you know donald trump you better uh, to, you better you know calm down with what you're saying you know speaking all this truth i'm not saying he hasn't said some crazy stuff but he said a lot of truth to go along with but it but that's why people crazy, love him yes when when i say crazy i mean crazy for someone on a national stage running for president would say right we're talking crazy about truth. truth yes exactly so um, and we still don't know if, you know, yeah, he's either the biggest Benedict Arnold or he's, or he's uh, a patriot. So I'm hoping he's a patriot. So, but our own president's commenting on this and he's saying, oh, I, you know, he better clean up his act or, I, you know, I can't, be- we're not going to give him uh, pre-election intelligence, you know, because they get briefed on certain things. And yet yeah, Hillary Clinton has. Oh yeah, she can break every law in the books, no problem. And uh, she's a, a lesbian, and her husband is a rapist, and has had sex with over two thousand women, reportedly. Um, and but no, that's all. No, she's a great person, and violated no, national security oral- with her with her email. Put put uh, U.S. intelligence at risk. All that's perfectly fine. And did you see the movie Clinton Cash, Stuart? Oh, absolutely. You it's saw that website. movie. I mean, absolutely. That, I could. I mean, I was like blown away. I knew it was bad. Yeah. And I did a report earlier this week how she got four 
She got $48.5 million from Wall Street hedge funds so far, campaign contributions, but yet she's saying she's the anti-Wall Street candidate. Donald Trump has got $19,000 from hedge funds. Are you kidding me? But she's the anti-Wall Street candidate. And you watch that movie, Clinton Cash, it's unbelievable. Everywhere they go turns to crap and they make millions of dollars off these crony capitalists, disaster capitalist deals. Absolutely. There's no public bidding. Propping up terrorism, propping up any evil thing that you could think of these people are into. I mean, right. It's just out of this world. It's yeah. They sign off because she was a secretary of state. She had a lot of power to sign off on um, crony capitalist uh, deals for her buddies uh, that you know run multinational corporations it's and steal resources. Yeah, and you know what? Then they give in those crone those corporations or those individuals that run those corporations are on boards of the corporations that that they set up. Um, uh, you know, they they give the rights to, or they set up an area. They give concessions. They give yeah, yeah, yeah. Sessions, yeah, with their diplomatic power, right, or their uh, you know, you know, uh, secretary of state power. Uh, and then those people donate millions of dollars to the Clinton Fund, or they pay them directly to give a speech. Uh, but that's not a conflict of interest. <laughs> so the Clintons, and you know what, Sam? I was watching a few I mean, interviews. Inter- the, the corruption is so mind blowing. It's, it's hard. It's, to, it's hard to even believe. I mean, you're like. Are they making this up? And then I went and checked some of the facts. I was like, no, this is the truth. I mean, because you're not hearing it refuted. Well, look, Paul Ryan. They would Hillary- sue these people, right? If they came out with the Clinton cash, say, and that guy wrote it's the all book. truth. That guy it's, wrote the no, book about it. They would sue them, right? If They can't sue them because it's, it's, le- no, it's true. No, no, but if they were lying, yeah. they would sue them. So that proves that it's true, right? Because these are yeah. damning indictments oh, yeah. made against That's these right. people. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And so if you publish something that isn't true, well, then you could be sued for slander and uh, uh, disparagement defamation of character, character defamation yeah. of character and stuff like that, which are legitimate, right? Those are legitimate. You can't, um, but if you're around, so- you can't go around defaming people and making up lies about them or you will yeah. be sued, especially on that level. Unless it's satire, Unless, then that's different. But, yeah. but, uh, but also, yeah, if you're publishing, yeah, anyway. So it's true. That's, this, that's all this stuff's true. true. They can't sue because they they can't prove it in court because they would have to prove that they didn't do all that stuff, but they did do it all. (laughs) Okay, so and I and I was actually listening to um, I don't know if you know, Dr. Lamont, Mark Lamont Hill. He's a black guy that, uh, you know, he's he's an intellectual guy that goes on. He used to work Fox News, goes on all these shows and hosts VH1 shows and hosts uh, CNN shows or whatever. It goes on as a commentator, a political analyst. And he's not voting for Hillary Clinton. And because, because there, he even said, he's like, she's, I don't see any difference from her and a Republican or, or like a Paul Ryan. And I agree with that. Um, now, I don't agree with a lot of um, his politics, but I, but he's voting for Jill Stein, the Green Party. He said, you know, Hillary Clinton, I, I, she's, she's proved that she, that she'll do, she's just a politician that won't, even if the Democrats had a, a, an agenda that they wanted to implement. Um, that was to to let's say a Black Lives Matter activist standards. Who knows if they would even implement it or whatever? No, you're voting for someone who's controlled and who's owned. But she's okay? more than just a dirty politician. She's a globalist minion. She's part yes. of the New World Order. She's she wants worse. She wants yeah. one world government and will do anything because she's been given a pass to be above the law by the New World Order. But I would say Paul Ryan's definitely. He was on my radar. Uh, you know, a few years ago, hey, just his, his elections coming up this Tuesday. I hope Paul, Paul hope, Nyland, Paul Nyland yeah, or yeah, Nyland. Yeah. yeah. He's running against him. And, uh, I, anyone in that district needs to get Paul Ryan out of there. And that would be an embarrassment to the establishment. If the speaker of the house got booted. Okay. That's what needs so, to happen. People, and you know what? The chance that corruption can happen is a, a lot smaller at that local lever, level. So checks and balances, et cetera. We really need to make sure he's out of there. Paul Ryan's a total, he, in fact, the fact that he's like, you know, a younger, he's like almost like a Ted Cruz type of. He supports uh, open borders. Yeah, he is, he is such a rhino and he's probably heavily involved in uh, real evil stuff. The fact that he's speaker of the house too right now. And what he's saying is completely opposite of any, the, the Republican platform. Straight up. So how is he even a Republican? How is he the Speaker of the House? The mo- he is third in line to be President of the United States. 
I mean, they are making sure that they have Yes Man in every position, and it's just sickening. And we'll get to that later, too. We'll, we'll talk about... He's a principled the, conservative. Oh, well, yeah. That because supports world government. He was on the budget committee, and he was, uh, you know, he graduated from this uh, de- university, and maybe he has a degree in count- accounting or something. Of course, it does not matter because we'll never have a, a budget that's actually, uh, you know, cutting the deficit or paying down our debt. It's always overspending every single year by billions. Um, so don't talk to me about how Paul Ryan is is somehow a principled conservative. It's a joke. Uh, I look at him as he's he's on a Ted Cruz level, and uh, he I mean he's you know he's getting up there with Hillary. I don't I don't like him anymore. I mean everyone knows Hillary is just no one actually likes her. They might hate Trump, but they no no one likes Hillary Clinton. And the fact that she stole the election from Bernie, the fact that uh, they know that they don't have another option but to pick. The, from these little families, like these these Illuminati uh, the oligarchs, old family, yeah, these skull and bones families, uh, and people that are heavily, uh, you know, they hang out with billionaire pedophiles on their islands, and are named in lawsuits like Bill Clinton and Jeff e- Epstein. I mean, it's just the, these people are just terrible, and these are the leaders of our country, which shows how deep uh, we're in. Well, let's how, get, how in, deep, let's get into crap. that now, Stuart. S- Satan Club request hit schools so the satanic temple is going around requesting schools all over the country carry their after school program now yeah and this is gonna oh man this is gonna affect the poor communities the worst um because you got you know urban inner city um you know schools where poor kids are going to public schools because they you know they're either single parent homes or you know, they just can't afford private school or they can't afford to homeschool because they got to work, two jobs or whatnot. So those kids are going to be brought up to, to say, hey, you know, Satan, you can believe in Satan and start um, adhering to his uh, philosophies, which is do without wilt, uh, be selfish. That's the kind of things that we have at after school programs, not do unto others as you would have to do under uh, the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have done unto yourself. It's do what thou wilt, which means do what you want, uh, and that's it. Be selfish. So that's the kind of things that we have at after-school programs now, and it will be implemented. And under the the guise of diversity, Sam, uh, yeah, and you know well, what? The it's way to- tolerance. Yeah. It's loving liberal to be a Satan worshiper now. I mean, yeah. Where do we draw the line? I'm drawing the line, saying this, I'm not standing for this. No, my my kids will not go to a public school, um, especially in. No, hell no. Yeah, ne- never. Degenerate cesspool of Satan worship now. Yeah, and this is what happens when you allow the uh, education to be put in the government's hands, which it never should have been. Uh, private school was not only affordable but uh, very good, even in the 1800s. Um, and then they decided, oh, we need public schools now. Take from you, steal from you through income taxes and property taxes and every tax. Um, municipal taxes, and and we're going to pay for crappy uh, schools that you can go to. They might have been good back in the day, 100 years ago. But the thing is, when you go to a public school, now any public policy that is now permitted, which is diversity and having a million uh, a million gender options, this is now uh, public policy. And in, over t- in, in order to overturn that, well, at this point, you have to go to the federal level, level because we're having executive orders, executive decrees saying – yeah, boys and girls need to be able to go in the same bathroom at five years old. Teach them uh, anal sex at five years old. This is all just being pushed at the federal level. And so then you can't do anything uh, when it comes to your local school board because uh, they're all bought and paid for too. And then they get grants from the feds. So you have to listen to the friends. It comes with strings attached. Uh, the feds, you have to, uh, it comes with strings attached. And that's the big problem. You have to boycott public school, period. And then they'll try to put you in jail for not, you know, Sending your kids to public school. But look, you have to boycott the system now. If there's an after school Satan worshiping co- club or learn about Satan club, if you are a Christian and you're, and you're, if child you have any kind of damn school, sense in your head, I mean, come on, man. Or if you're just a good person, because that is Satan teaches the philosophy of Satan is do what thou wilt, not uh, be unselfish. It's be selfish, which means the ends justifies the means. Well, I want that candy. That person has the money to buy that. Can I'm going to steal or beat that person up? And that's what Satan teaches. Do whatever it the, takes to get ahead. Yeah. Do what do as thou wilt to get gain because you're all going to die. You're going to die anyway. So might as well uh, get gain uh, in the process uh, and not 
uh, be unselfish and be Christ-like. It is the opposite of being Christ-like. So, uh, and we've seen these degenerate Satanists. It's such a joke. They sure. have they have to force it on people because it's so unpopular. Sir, we okay? have we have a satanic federal government. Let's shift now into government to lift moratorium on cross species chimera research. This is a report out of the Washington Times. The federal government is planning to lift a moratorium on funding for research studying the effects of injecting animal embryos with human stem cells, creating half human, half animal hybrids. Yeah, and this these, is spawned uh, hybrid- right out of hell. I mean, really? Yes, it is. Our yeah. tax dollars are paying for this. Oh, our tax dollars are paying for it. Well, the federal course. government's funding it. Our tax dollars pay for, uh, you know, cocaine experiments on rats and to see if they, you know, see if rats have sex if they're on cocaine. I mean, that's what we, we spend hundreds of thousands of how, dollars. How about. evil We've is this? We've spent $5,000 on hammers, okay? Yes. Half we are human, degenerates half uh, human, when it comes half to public policy. Hybrids. Yeah, and, and these animals... Uh, no we rights. Have, they're not gonna have rights. No rights, uh, and also they're not. They don't have souls. I'm sorry. They're not from. The, they're not divine intelligence. So uh, these these. No, they're animals, created in a lab. They're not curious. created. They're not created by God. They're created by man. They have no soul. They have no premortal existence uh, of intelligence. They they they're they're basically and not only that. Uh, so you're gonna have a soulless being or chimera, and you have also dark spirits. Uh, without bodies hanging around and that's why and these dark spirits are angry because they don't have a body they didn't choose to come down uh, see we we all chose to come down here and, and to be tempted and to um and to actually uh, progress in a physical body so we could learn like our, our spirit our souls could actually learn and experience things right from wrong it comes it goes back to the fall of adam right so these spirits are, are are total demons. I mean, that's what it is. They've they've chosen to rebel against God, and we and they're able to hang out here, and that's it. And so these chimeras will, will they'll probably try to actually possess these chimeras, and then you're going to have demonic chimeras walking around. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to defend myself if that ever happens. And all this stuff, um, truth is stranger than fiction. So we're seeing this all pre-programmed in movies and. TV shows, and so we know this is going to happen, and uh, we should be against it. Oh, oh! If we're paying for it, that's a to- that is a total, totally immoral. Okay, you can do what you want uh, as long as you're not violating someone's unalienable rights. But once you steal from me and then promote Satanism and chim- human chimeras and child, you know, experiments and pedophilia and all this garbage, that's what and all this, doing. that that is when uh, you violated my rights. You violated my labor. Okay, income tax is illegal. Okay, it's a violation of it, it means you're a slave. If you if if income tax is a tax on if if you if you want to work and provide for your family, you have to be a slave to the government. That's what an income tax is, okay? So people get wake up. This is this pisses me off, man. It Just should. Get, I mean, get, this... get pissed off and get right with God. Get on your knees and say, "Give me the strength. I got to I need to change my life." Better and and you need to start becoming a better person, and don't live the Satanist lifestyle, the philosophy "do what thou wilt." This is an abomination against creation. Yeah, but you know, some people, Sam, will say that we're we're, we're anti science. Oh, we well, must no, but, be anti science. But but you know, people that that are real, I guess, uh, very into you know, libertarianism and philosophy, they'll just say that we're giving out disinformation, Sam. And that we're uh, Washington we're, crazy, Times. we're crazy conspiracy theorists, and 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 we're not real journalists. We're That's not real we're... analysts. Nah, and we believe in God, Sam. So you know what? And God's, I guess, a conspiracy too. Uh, it, it, you know, uh, the the flying cookie monster, right? The atheist, atheist or the spaghetti monster? Oh, you believe in a flying spaghetti monster? Well, they're making human chimeras with your tax dollars, and you want to give me crap about a flying spaghetti? Make fun of me because I believe in the Creator? Guess what? The flying spaghetti monster, Sam doesn't give you unalienable rights. Sorry. <laughs> so any atheists that are okay with this and, oh, take my rights, no problem, well, enjoy it. You will have no rights because the state now becomes God. The flying spaghetti monster uh, can't give you rights because it doesn't exist. And since you don't respect your creator, since you do not hearken to uh, your heavenly father above, right? someone who created you, who gave you this experience, 
uh, you're going to lose all your rights. You're going to lose them all because you are, well, it's, it's a prideful attitude is that, oh, you know, I'm just going to sit on my ass all day and not talk about these things because you know what? I'm an atheist. I'm an atheist. And, you know, and, and the thing is, when you say that, that means that you, the state makes up your rights. The state decides, the authority decides whether you can own a gun and defend yourself, whether you have freedom of speech, freedom of conscience, okay? When you are, I'm sorry, the state makes up those rules. When you don't understand that our constitution was inspired by your creator, and you can talk all you want about how, oh, our founding fathers were bad because they owned some slaves. You have freedom of speech. Everyone of every color and creed here in America has freedom of speech, political speech, which is the most protected because it's the most unpopular because our creator said we have unalienable rights. Inspired men put it on paper. The government is supposed to protect those. And if they're not protecting them, they're taking them away. And that's what ha is happening right now. So be staunchly against it. And you'll be judged for how you go. If you're voting for Hillary with a clear conscience, <laughs> you're going to be judged, by the way. I'm just saying, vote your vote your conscience. But if your conscience, tell you, conscience tells you Hillary, you got to get right with God. You've got some issues. So it's evidenced by the all-out assault against Trump that he's for real. They wouldn't be put it because they're destroying themselves along the way. They're, the mainstream media, any credibility that they did have is now gone running these fake-ass stories that Trump's uh, dropping out, that the, he's having an intervention. That. That, that is probably, I think that is the biggest misleading front page headline article I've seen yet. And, and, and they're trying to normalize him. They're trying to make it think like he's actually think he's the, pre, he's the presumptive. He is the nominee. He's not presumptive. He is the nominee. And unless it, and there's no way to get him out unless he commits a crime. And like Hillary Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> yeah. Like Hillary, unless he, unless he, because of course, well, if and, and WikiLeaks says the next leak, the next leak that they come out with is going to be enough to indict Hillary. We'll see. I hope. I'm so I, excited. I hope so, too. I don't even care if there's a, uh, operatives in there. It doesn't matter because it's got to show you who these people are. And by the way, uh, now, t when it comes to the occult, they, they swear allegiance to each other, right, Sam? They swear allegiance. But those allegiances, I mean, th they're probably going to be broken when it comes down to it. Um, because all these people, it's still do what they, thou wilt mentality. It is still so John Kerry, George Bush, they, you know, who knows what kind of pact they made with each other with skull and bones. Um, but, you know, those packs, I think, can be shifted and will be shifted, um, especially when you get into overseas, like, you know, Putin and all these Chinese leaders. I, um, I mean, who knows? How are they, how are they going to all? I mean, I mean, because you still got to uh, you. Everyone wants to be the, the most powerful and the most rich. Well, That's let's what get into that right now with the, the Joel oh. Skelson reporting, right? Okay, you, got, yeah. you got the three power centers. Yes. You got the Anglo-American establishment. You got China and you got Russia. And they all want their own new world order to rule the world, right? Like that song it's, says, everybody that, that wants to rule yeah. the wor world. And so yeah. uh, I believe that's very true. And, okay, so... Joel Skousen, if if you haven't seen the interview, he uh, did a great interview. I World thought Affairs Briefs is his website. World Affairs Briefs, uh, World Affair Brief, uh, Affairs Briefs uh, with Joel Skousen. Go to his uh, website, check it out. But his interview was very telling. He did it with Alex Jones, and I don't care if you dislike Alex Jones, just deal with it. They do good work at Infowars. They do. Okay, so just get over it. They're awesome. Uh, they are. They do great work. All the trolls can go to hell. Yeah, just whatever. I mean, burn hell yeah. with your chimeras. <laughs> so Joel Skousen did an interview with Infowars with Alex Jones, and he talked about how how serious he said. You know, Trump does need to change his. He needs to be smarter with his words, which more I do agree political, with. Political, right? More, he he. Well, he needs to get a little smarter because really he could. He can still be brazen, but actually, you know, really bring people in and actually get get people on his team. And I hope that he tries to do that in these last few months because um, then people maybe will see a different side and actually believe, hey, this this could be a real change. This could be like a Brexit. Um, but anyway, Joel Skousen talks about the the black ops and the dark elements of government and the CIA and all this stuff. And he said something very, we need to understand this. And, and, and it just made me think about it. 
he he said Trump should if he gets into office the way to st to to fix all these issues these proxy wars uh, funding both sides of terrorism false all these things flags. Conflicts, false flags he said he needs to tell the any military to not to not take orders to, uh, sign an executive order saying I'm the commander in chief do not take any orders from any CIA commanders any black ops commanders any independent contractors with the government any any type of dark element NSA none of it and i'm like we're getting it that is that is absolutely true and i agree with that wholeheartedly that in the that's why just changing the president you know if if they try to do something like an executive order like that they'll just kill the, the guy and put the next guy in because really that one guy i mean i mean if they do sign an executive order and all these uh, the nsa um the the cia all these dark elements the shadow government that really run things they're all yes men. But then the there's layers uh, of there's that because there's good, there's and, dark side and and, but and light top, side of that, yeah. right? But yes, and what he was saying was at the top, he said they're all involved in the occult and they're all heavily invested in this new world order global. I mean, they are, they, uh, no, yeah. they know the plan and they are on board, right? So you have to basically, you have to basically shut out those people. You have to say, Hey, here are these hundred people. Don't take orders from them. I would have you'd have to put it out and say, "Hey, military, you do not take orders from these people by name." Okay, and then you'd probably have some sort of assassination attempt or whatnot. Um, but but he is right because that is really what has to happen. Because clearly, clearly, people know that Obama was a total shill fraud. He didn't do anything that the left actually wanted, like end the wars, like the real left, the organic left, right? The real left, not Hillary Clinton. And they found out, man, we're just getting the same old. Uh, we're getting another George Bush, basically. Same old empire, but with same a old, with but a different with a face. black face, yeah. With a black face, right? Uh, that is very eloquent in speaking, and, and you know, oh yeah, we need to aspire to be president. Um, or but any his black rhetoric's president. getting real tired about uh, right now. Man, people are sick of it, and even I, I I'm serious, like because what his... Hillary. Like Hillary, a lot of black people are not going to vote for Hillary. They might not vote for Trump, but they're not going to vote for Hillary. They're going to vote third party because they know it's another. They don't want to say that Obama was a bad president because, you know, I understand that's their first black president. I get that. I get that identification, um, you know, that culture right there. I, I get that. That's, uh, Stuart, that's something got... special for them. But but they do not want another four years of it, which Stuart, is very telling. Stuart, Hillary represents another four years. We've got big globalist publications, the Financial Times, the Japan. Japan Times coming out saying Hillary has to win or globalism is in big big trouble. They're saying they say it in these articles. And there will be there'll be some rocky years. Let's say if we actually become a nation again instead of this glo under uh, a nation under basically global trade deals. If we have secure borders, we have secure. If we're actually a nation that we make our own decisions and a actually we nation. people that that actually like like vote in our interests not foreign interests or multinationals then We're actually a there, representative gonna... democracy not a global crime syndicate running things exactly well said and there'll be some rocky years right there will be some rocky years just like we had some crazy collapse right here there'd be some rocky years we have to correct yeah we but we can correct it and it would be rocky but we have to have enough people in place to say this is how we go forward that we have to make. We already have the document there. We have the Constitution, Bill of Rights. We already have yeah. a good foundation. Yeah. Go with that. The feds, they worry about international uh, treaties with, with people, but the states, the feds need to stay out of the states. But the problem is the Trump feds says have sold that. us. He, Trump says leave a lot of issues up to the states. Exactly. And, and I do like that. He said that about education. Exactly. He said that about education, a lot of things. So when the feds sign us, the whole entire country up, with globalism, then states have no power. They just they can petition the feds. That's it. Okay, states need to but start. But really saying, petitioning the UN or some yeah. some un so it's, unknown, unknown technocrat from a freaking uh, floating island or something <laughs> that we don't even know their name, right? We don't. Who who knows all these uh, these uh, UN officials' names? Nobody knows their names. Ban Ki Moon is the UN. It's like Ban Ki Moon is supposed to make. <laughs> He's decisions. telling you what to do now. Yeah, that is ridiculous. Um, so, uh, to the like, this is the this is so important. Though what Skousen said, go watch the interview because that's how we need to actually we start need we need to start infiltrating local governments um, and the feds with patriots that understand that there's yes men at the top of all levels of government 
that are actually even like the yes men. It might not be the, your average bureaucracy or bureaucrat, but it is the yes men that are going to uh, say yes no matter what to a system that will destroy us, a global demonic agenda that wants to bring in a new world order, a uh, one world government. Dude. I gotta keep going. I gotta fix my dog real quick. You gotta fix your dog? We got wild dogs on the loose. So continuing here, let's get into the U.S. economy now, or actually the global economy, and then we'll shift to the U.S. economy. China moves forward with SDR, Standard Drawing Rights Issuance, in August. I'm just talking about the IMF Managing Director is a... Uh, speaking at the IMF headquarters for the 40th anniversary of the IMFC meeting. And Bloomberg reports that in August, China's going to start this month, China's going to start a group to explore the use of supranational special drawing rights currency. Yeah, so world currency. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. yeah, so it's and with interest rates um and if people don't it's hard to understand finance finances right when it gets into all these technicalities of the feds you know uh, it's another it's a global interest. fiat currency yes and because they're gonna have to absorb all these failed fiat currencies uh around the world which we sit at the top of them but we're, it's still failing and w doesn't matter because and the reason it's failing here's the, is because here's the definition. You lose, you're losing you're losing uh your buying power your purchasing power with inflation it's the hidden tax let me let me give you the definition here sdr are an imf construct of actual currencies right now the euro yen dollar and pound so it's special drawing rights a basket of currencies the euro yen dollar and pound that the international monetary fund is using as a trade instrument between nations yeah instead of uh, it's a global nation. currency and and that means that our nations have no those nations that have those rights like the, that basket of currencies there's not really an incentive uh to compete with having a sound currency Right? Wouldn't you say, Sam? Well, no, because um, they're all in the big because, central because banking club. Fails, they're all exactly, in the cartel. Let's say, let's say the Fed fails and, and people stop taking the dollar. Well, oh, well, we can actually just draw from SDRs. We can use that pot. Um, and that's kind of what it's... They're all propping is, each other up. Yes, and this is actually the silent world government right there, That the banking system. We don't see it, right? We don't really see it because we're like, oh, we're living in California. We're a whole other nation. Yeah, but your currency is now... Uh, going to be connected to this global SDR, which, uh, you know, is used by the uh, IMF. To, yeah, the IMF, which is used to, uh, you know, bail out other another currency that's uh, connected to you or uh, balance out a trade, uh, a trade uh, imbalance, right? Chi uh, trade Chinese, deficit. Stuart, uh, Chinese banks are planning to issue SDR backed bonds. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, and and a bond, folks, for for people that don't know, it's simply buying debt. So you're going to be buying. They're going to issue bonds for for a currency that has no country, basically. A it's a world currency. Currencies. It is basket of currencies. It's it's a world currency. Um, and the problem with that, people will say, well, gold's a world currency. Yeah, gold has real money value, and it should be the world currency. It used to be the world currency, it because all currencies used their own currency to they backed it with gold so their currency would actually have value so now calling, we've all gone off that standard the imf is calling it super sovereign reserve currency the sdr super sovereign mm -hmm. so it's like an above uh basically it's a it's above the nation un state and an, an unelected uh f currency i guess right world government currency <laughs> yeah so this is uh this is and, okay, back to the Skousen interview. This, this touches on everything. Um, I agree with Skousen's analysis about how um, this could go on for years. And we're talking this decay uh, with inflation and, lo and low interest rates and, and slightly raising interest rates, then lowering them again, creating more inflation, uh, more money in the actual in circulation, no savings, then go to negative rates, then quantitative, quantitative easing, then raise the interest rates a little bit. It's all... 
a fraud because it diminishes the value of your actual currency and the lower class, the majority of people get hit the hardest because it's a it's a, a hidden tax on your wages. Obama your said it's the best economy ever. You're a conspiracy theorist if you say different. Let's get into U.S. economic data now. Yeah. Bloomberg reports lowest home ownership since 1965. Yeah. And U- I, U- U.S. GDP grew less than uh, 1.2%. Well, how can a newlywed couple or let's say a couple that's 30 you know, 32, 33 years old, you know, they got two kids and they want to buy a house. Well, both of them have, uh, you know, a low paying jobs uh, or their jobs are unstable because they work for the service industry uh, and there's no real manufacturing uh, to back up what basically the American economy is made up of, which is mainly service sector. So, and then they have no savings because they drive nice cars and and, uh, they have student loans, they have auto loans. Um, and they're paying off credit card debt. So of course, uh, who's going to try to who wants to add a mortgage to that to that basket of debt uh, when their jobs aren't even really that secure, even with uh, college degrees? I mean, unless you're like an engineer making good money or a doctor. I mean, we we're talking like very highly skilled, a, a successful lawyer. I don't know. Um, there, there there's many things. Uh, an entrepreneur, a business. Someone who actually utilizes the free market and actually creates wealth and, and produces things. If you're not one of those people, uh, I don't understand. Buying bu- buying a home is a risk. It's a big risk right now um, because you know what? Guess what? Uh, the EPA could say that your job is actually uh, you know in your industry. Uh, it's creating too much carbon. We're going to have to lower that uh, <laughs> carbon and depopulate this area because to save the earth. Um, and earth worship is, is a total fraud. And I'm sorry – um, Carbon this, tax is a total fraud. Earth, earth worship. Uh, this this earth was created uh, for us to learn and actually uh, actually be humans and live and and work and have a free market and have rights uh, and to progress. Right. And progression is not killing us off uh, and shutting down uh, our humanity. Okay. Be, that's uh, that's earth progressive. Worship. This earth is a fallen state. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually the progressives actually are not progressive at all. They 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 want to depopulate. They're That's re- not a progression. They're regressive. They want to go they're backwards. Regress- they want exactly. to put us back into the Stone Age, shut yes. off our power, now shut off. O- yes, exactly. Now, being good stewards of the land is important because that sustains yourself and also is uh, you, you need to respect the land that you live off of. And But really, you need to respect the man upstairs, folks, because – he has control of everything. He's just not interfering unless we ask him, right? If we have, if we humble ourselves and ask him to help, he's going to help us, right? Uh, but, but he gave Satan this this earth, this fallen state, to tempt us, okay? So, but he doesn't have a body. Satan can only influence people, and then people, if they adhere to his philosophies, the father of all eyes, they can commit horrible, terrible acts that go against God's commandments against their fellow. Brothers and sisters, we're all brothers and sisters, okay? And create. So we've got people running the show that are evil that want to kill you. That create these evil systems such as socialism, communism, that we see the shift gears now into Venezuela, the yes, collapse yes. there. Yes. These evil systems of oppression, which are supposed to be promised by the government as utopian dreams where everybody's going to live lavishly off of the state. Venezuela, the economic collapse in Venezuela is so bad that people are slaughtering and eating zoo animals. The situation in Venezuela is uh, the definition of uh, the definition of communism. It's not even socialism. They've nationalized well, socialism, nearly every communism. It's all the same, the whatever same, brand, yeah. whatever flavor, right? Flavors of authoritarianism. So. In Venezuela, you can't just open a, you can't buy a piece of land, open a business, and buy and sell goods and services. Okay, uh, that's not the case. And if anyone wants to disagree and say we're giving out disinflow, uh, well, people can't grow the. In fact, okay, this is key because I read an article about this. There's uh, the president Nicolas Maduro or whatever. Um, he's a, basically the dictator that took used over for to, shopping. That guy used to be a garbage truck driver. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. So. Talk about unqualified to run a country. 
Well, he obviously, Roy, he was probably a garbage, he was a garbage truck driver and is a government job because most gov <laughs> jobs were government <laughs> jobs, right? There anyway, everything was nationalized. So when you have socialism, when you have the, the, the state owning all the property, only all the, owning all the rights to the goods and services, uh, no one has private property. So no one really has a vested interest in uh, producing things because it's all going to get re redistributed. The state for owns everything. Gain. The state owns everything. Now, they'll say that the public owns everything. But no, it's okay. the oligarchs that sit up on top of everyone ruling from as, as being the all-powerful state. And they don't hand it out equally to everyone. And so when they say that the public, when people try to it's say- It's a well, crime syndicate. Things. It's a yeah. crime syndicate. Socialism, when they say, oh, well, well you'll, everyone will own stuff, right? It'll be all public, <laughs> right? Everyone will own that everything. That means you own nothing. That means you own nothing. Private property. And I'm, okay, but real quick, in Venezuela, the, hear this out, if you're listening to this. Stuart, they, last week they passed a law mandatory labor. Just what I was about to say. Okay, so now, and this is what I think will happen here, the government, since no one- Socialism creates uh, scarcity. They can't no even feed work. themselves in this utopia of government they have, rule. They have, to, they have to now, they issued a law, a decree, saying that now there's forced labor to provide food for the country. That's what the president of Venezuela did. And guess what? Everyone who's on EBT that's on government assistance, government dependence, well, guess what? The government owns you. The government owns you. Okay, so if you if your EBT card stops working and they say, well, sorry, you actually have to go labor in this government uh, grape vineyard because the gut we're now taking over private industry. That doesn't even work because they don't know how to run anything. That they can't I know even, that's exactly. How we got to that point is they but can't all, run, they can't even run their bureaucracy correctly, and so there's so no you, way in hell they can run any kind of industry correctly. So you'll be put in a forced labor camp because you that doesn't even work. It. That doesn't. Yeah, even, doesn't that even can't work. even produce anything. Yeah. And so your labor will be wasted at that point, and yeah. you'll continue to decline because you don't have private property and any incentive to succeed. But when I read that, Sam, of the forced labor camps in Venezuela, this is serious. This is coming here. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not in a year. But in five years, we'll if we see. We keep where going the down this path. Of exactly. everybody, I want free college, I want free food, I want free car, a free house, and yeah. oh, by the way, you owe me reparations because I'm black. <laughs> no, I mean, there's yeah. no end yeah. to it. There is no there is. end. Let me work all day, a 40 hour work week, yeah. and bust my butt, and yeah. let me go ahead and direct deposit my <laughs> paycheck in your account. Because and so what happens to that, Sam? Your incentive to work, why would you work? You I might as well sit around why, and read. Exactly, and, why and, would and, I? And do the bare minimum to allow your family to survive. But that's the thing, is that everyone it in Venezuela... Undermi it undermines the drive for society yeah. to progress forward. Yeah, and so people will say, well, oh, well, well, if you allow people to have private property and all these rights, then that means that multinationals and crony capitalism will... Or capitalism, they don't say crony, they say capitalism, will destroy everything. no. In fact, the free market keeps crony capitalists in check. If you write laws that actually make it harder for small business, a private citizen to actually start his own business, provide, buy land, and actually own his own property and provide for his family, if you outlaw that due to regulation, okay? This is what they've done. They put the this barriers, is what done. barriers and then they to say, entry so high that there is yeah. no competition. And then they say that it's our fault, the entrepreneur, the the guy who can't even buy a piece of land to provide for his family oh it's my fault because we allowed capitalists because they they bought up everything no 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 they wrote laws that ensured that they that they would succeed instead of allowing they created a barrier to entry which i believe is illegal okay Th these barriers to entries i don't care if you want to say it's for the safety of it's public policy and for the safety of consumers that's all bullcrap you want child labor licenses to work licenses <laughs> to work that is saying that you have a license to provide for your family. Now, everyone should read the book, The Great and Abominable Church, okay? It talks about if you can't have private property, by the way, if you you you, you can't, you, you don't have a life. If you can't have private property, Sam, if you can't own a plot of land or if you can't own physical things like a phone, a computer, if it's not yours, if that car is not in my name, you can't accomplish any goal. Private property is the, is the only way to accomplish an actual goal here. If I don't own anything, well, if I don't own my own boxing gloves because the state owns them and I can't own my own um, boxing bag, well, then I can't become a bo I can't actually go and box and work out, 
okay? Because the state owns it. Someone else owns it. You okay? don't own and your own might, labor. You don't own your own labor, okay? And by the way, the forced labor camps, your time is now, you can't go do what you want. You can't make your own free market decision. You can't uh, be your own. You but can't I'm be your a own player. Agent. I'm but, a player, homie. <laughs> well, the government's going to say, sorry, we own your labor now because of, because of emergency uh, we're in emergency states. But I have 10 no kids out of wedlock and get and get uh, welfare payments for them. And I'm a player, homie. I Not got, anymore. I got, I got 22s on my ride. <laughs> Not anymore because we're going to oh. cut off those. We're going to cut off those pay and you're going to have to go work in the fields. Oh. So since you didn't want to actually And that's never work happened anywhere yeah. except for it's happening right now in Venezuela. That's Wake right. Wake the hell up, idiot. Yeah, Man. so people that said that we were posting disinformation on our site about Venezuela, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you need to go back and check yourself, okay? We know we know <laughs> what's going on, okay? Just because so, there was some broken link. It's such a disaster. People need to literally start humbling themselves and understanding that if you don't have una if you don't have your unalienable rights, if you can't defend them, if you can't if you don't stand up to the tyranny, you're going to lose them all. And then sorry, your your property is now going to be mine and I'll just I'll just, you know, I'll pander uh, you, to whatever party and say, "Hey, I'm a, uh, a cisgendered, um, you know, trans, uh, trans chimera, chimera, and I want that person's property uh, because reparations, because they are discriminatory against me because they have black hair and I don't like black hair. It's offensive. Uh, so there's no end to it. No there's end. no end. So if you can't own private property, if you don't support private property, then you don't own your own body. You don't own your and and. All these liberals talking about we own our own body. Well, yes, you do, but not, but not, well, but not but when you're not supporting when the government the says you don't. Yeah. Not when the government says you have to work in a forced labor camp to provide food for everyone else. Do you think they're putting everyone in? No, they're just putting in the able body, the ones that were actually probably trying to provide for their family the anyway. Actual producers. Those are the ones. Yeah, the actual producers. So, by the way, I'm not going to a forced labor camp um, to pay for a bunch of lazy people to do to take more of my money and labor. Sorry, you can go, and that's why everyone should have food storage. They should, um, Stuart, they should another... understand what's happening. <laughs> exactly, prepare. prepare yourself. Yeah. Another story out of Venezuela. Let them eat cake. Venezuela celebrates last week Hugo Chavez's birthday with a hundred thousand dollar birthday cake. Oh my and that's the government. There's pictures of the Madero uh, really? criminal scum eating this uh, four foot tall, uh, <laughs> 90 kilo birthday cake in celebration of a dead man's birthday, Hugo Chavez. A hundred well, thousand uh, Venezuelan dollars, which is probably like what, a uh, thousand bucks? In the presidential <laughs> palace as people are starving outside. Yep. So enjoy it. Enjoy socialism. Uh, people are walking across, I uh, read this article, people were walking across the Colombia border to buy basic goods and services, and they said it was like Disneyland. When Colombia is like the promised land, if you're in Venezuela, <laughs> I think socialism has a, is a proven failure. Um, so no, and Stuart, I was watching they're brainwashed, this. They're brainwashed, and you know what, people here at home, the only reason you're, we're still pro being propped up, and it may take another five years. I'm, I'm not predicting collapse anytime, because it, the, the fact is, is that uh, as the, as more of these socialist nations start to fall, we still are being propped up, and they still take our dollar. And it may take another decade for them to realize that our dollar is so uh, there's so much inflation uh, that our dollar is not even worth anything, and we're literally living off of other people. Like, but, but you know, soon they'll just make everything illegal here, but we'll still be able to live comfortably, semi comfortably, uh, off of everyone else's uh, labor overseas or whatever. I mean, we'll live off of just printing more U.S. dollars until countries stop taking our dollar. And that may take a long time. So who knows how long it'll go. But in the end, Cinderella always has their midnight, folks. So sorry, the selfishness and uh, the destructive uh, lifestyles and the immorality, it's all going to come back to bite you in the ass. Big time. Our media is ignoring the Venezuela crisis. The, the I haven't heard anything from the mainstream about Venezuela because it it it's it basically says it destroys hey, their narrative. Contract. Exactly, it it says that our social our growing social programs and our social Ponzi scheme frauds like Social Security, um, they are a fraud and they don't want to let people know that and and because then people might say, hey, maybe we should like step back from the socialist uh, type of mentality.
And what we didn't what we didn't talk about was what we talked about. It destroys your incentive to work. It also destroys incentive to invest. That's right. Because if you don't, inv- uh, why would you invest when everything's going to get taxed? And when the state owns anything? it. And uh, look, with with all this, inf- if people don't understand, low interest rates rates mean uh, low savings rates. Uh, that means more money uh, stimulating, propping up uh, uh, stocks and companies that really shouldn't have uh, all these sales and returns because people are people don't have any savings. So basically, uh, we're just living paycheck to paycheck, but we're still living comfortably and buying and and you know living off debt and whatnot. But eventually, that will end. I mean, eventually, that will come to fruition, and we're going to have to start reinvesting and saving again. Or else people will stop taking our do- dollar. They will because we're not gonna have sustainable. To hyper- it's not sustainable because there'll be no investment. And then by the time that all runs out, well, then you'll just get hyperinflation and, and negative interest rates, and it'll just be a disaster. And you know, it's the Keynesianism. It's the the, the Keynesianists that just uh, they think that. I mean, think about it. The government, uh, the government can create currency and money and use it, it out of thin air, and it's legal. And this is totally legal. Uh, and then, but we can't use other currencies. We can't, uh, you know, we're we're labeled terrorists if we buy silver or we stock up on guns and, and basic supplies and prep. Oh, we're 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 the bad people. But I'm not printing money and and then just using it and hyperinflating our system. No, they are. The government is. The state is. They're sanctioning it. And but yet we're not supposed to criticize that. Well, I guess because we didn't have a son die in Iraq, I guess we can't criticize things. Well, you're not in the Muslim Brotherhood either. True. And you're not and you're not supporting Sharia law, so you're not a good liberal. And the thing is, Sam, with this this <laughs> Muslim out this 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 Islamic radical craze, uh, and all these like and think about the hypocrisy and, 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 though, Stuart. That what about um, the Benghazi families that uh, Hillary Clinton said were liars? <laughs> what about what about that? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you just got to watch the 13 hours and read the book uh, by... Hillary the, Clinton said they're lying. Yeah, well, well, I mean, the thing is... But that's okay. Reality. That's Carl okay. Rove said <laughs> we're history's actors. We create reality. So, uh, but but I was thinking about this today. Look, yes, there are real Islamic jihadis, for real. There, and there's, there's a sector uh, that is the Muslim Brotherhood that is that is really actually trying to accomplish like a, a jihad. There's a bunch like of a whole terrorists war, right? out there, man. There are, there, there are. are. But, and, but the West them, has enabled yeah. them the whole yeah. way now. And at the top, I think there, Sam, with the Muslim brother, all these terrorist organizations and and the Saudi Arabian government. I mean, they they're abide working by Sharia, with, but they're working with intelligence agencies, the CIA, Mossad, MI6, all these Western intelligence agencies at the top are yeah. working with them, funding, training, giving them weapons to carry out their fundamentalist caliphate jihad yeah and the thing is the to create the, a destabilization program to as one part of the new world order to bring in one world government yeah the, and the is, also staging false flags along the way to further confuse the public the islamic uh, religion i think is actually being scapegoated uh by by, by the, the radicals elite, by the yeah and by the elite because even at the top Let's talk about fundamentalists like Islamic uh, radicals that really want, you know, they believe in Muhammad and, and the Quran, and they're trying to they're trying to live by those standards, right? Sharia law. They want to implement this thing. That's only going to last so long. It's only being used as a like a, a pawn to bring in world government. I mean, do you think like do you think uh, there's the going to be any praying program. to Muhammad? Do you think there's going to be any praying to Muhammad five times a day when there's a world government? Do you think <laughs> Muslims are going to re- see? They might when the be state is God. Do you think? They, yeah, they might be catering to Muslim radicals right now and and just Muslims in general, like to peaceful cause reform Muslims. Destabilization. Muslims. Yeah, and and but then that's all going to end because there's going to be a world religion. They're going to bring in. It's only being used for political Trans-humanism. gain. Transhumanism. Yeah, it's going to be brought in. It's, it'll be a Satanist, uh, got a yeah, no, Luciferian, Luciferian uh, religion that's brought in. And Muslims, like, I, I mean, wearing a burqa and all these, yeah, and, and and praying on your mat five, five times dead. a day. You're gone. No, no, no. That'll, that'll, they'll be like, yeah, we just used that. Same uh, with Christians. Religion. You're gone. Yeah, yeah. They're just going to sacrifice that too. So, uh, so, yeah, that's the ultimate goal. And I know, you know, we just rant and rave, folks. But, <laughs> hey, 
There's so much going on, and I'm glad the stuff we covered today, though, Sam, was, was very important, and we need to keep covering this. We'll keep following Venezuela and the Trump disinfo and all this stuff, and it's exciting time to be alive and get right with God. Pray every night. Just, just get on your knees. Pray to the Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Seriously, and I don't mean to be preachy. 20 but, seconds. But we know what time it is, Sam. All right, peace, love, and liberty. Stop being a brain-dead, mind-controlled slave. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good night. Weaponizednews.com. Thanks for joining us. Do your own research.